Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create the end workshop screen in your Portal 2 Hammer map. First thing you're going to want to do is get your entity tool and get a Funk Instance. So, I'll get your Funk Instance, double click on it, go to VMF file name, click browse. Then you'll have um, this folder, click on Instances, and then look for P2 Editor. And then once you're in this folder, you'll see this file right here called Global PTI Ents. So click that and then click Apply. It will turn into this and you will want to place this outside of your map. So I'm just going to put it out here. There it is. So you're going to want to double click on it and go to fix up name and name this whatever you want. I will name this PTI underscore ends. Click apply. And then you'll see this thing over here called disable PTI audio. Place this with one. Then that will disable Cave Johnson's voice from playing when the map starts. The next thing you're going to want to do is trigger the map to end. So I'm going to actually use a trigger brush this time. So we'll get your trigger texture and I'll just place it right here. Move it down so that it's actually inside the map. There we go. And then press Control T once you've selected it change to a funk detail then you can replace that with whatever trigger you want to use I'll use trigger once go to outputs click add go to on start touch PTI underscore ends or whatever you've named yours instance relay P PTI level end trigger and then it and then it'll give you a parameter override but don't type anything in there and it'll also say that this isn't valid, but trust me, it is. So, we'll save the map, and then we will simply run it. Okay, here's our map. It's pretty empty, and our trigger is right here. So we'll walk into it. This is where our trigger is. You'll see nothing happened. Why did? Why is that? We set up the output and the trigger and everything. Well, if you go into developer console, you'll see the name of the map will appear in the console. And that means that it was successful. That, so if you actually publish the map to the workshop, then that will appear. And if it doesn't appear, then you've done something wrong. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!